Hi everyone, welcome. So today I'm gonna try to bang out some of these new um, succulent potting. Um, I have rain coming for the next two days, and it's supposed to be some some. I'm not sure if it's hurricane, but uh, I, I don't think so. Um, it's just a big rainstorm that's coming, and. It's supposed to give me a, give us a lot of rain in the next two days, so I'm trying to I'm gonna try to bang these out, get it done. This one is an Echeveria spotted deer, and I wanted to. I mean, I like to generally um, provide some information as I pot, but that I'm just gonna have to do some other time because. I will try to, as I mentioned, bang these out. <laughs> so, um, and it's pretty windy out here today. So let's see how much of this, uh, how fast I can get this done. Just taking a closer look at the succulent. Looks like it was a clipping, huh? It's hard to tell. There's no, um, it, it's still like, it hasn't scabbed fully. I mean, it is scabbed, but not like um, the thick brown scabbing that you normally see with a lot of the clippings. Um, I didn't mean to do that, but that just uh, fell off at the, uh, with a touch. It was bound to drop anyway. Just making sure there's no bugs. I've had some mealy bugs in, uh, was it this batch or a different batch? But I bought a bunch of succulents, one after another after another. So just want to make sure there's no mealy bugs. Looks good. It looks like it's stretched a little bit, but hopefully that will be, that will resolve. Uh, and I'm going to pot it now. So I'm going to pot it into this. This is, a, a, I believe, a three inch terracotta pot that I painted yesterday. And it, it dried overnight and I, I did a quick like uh, single coat of a sealer. I wasn't going to use a sealer at first, but um, I realized That the paint was like rubbing off because I did such a thin layer of it, so I decided I'm just gonna I'm just gonna seal it just one one coat. I'm just thinking in my head, am I gonna fast forward this video or should I keep talking <laughs> um, as much as I like to chat up about um, succulents. Um, it is Friday today, and it's just one of those days where I'm feeling a bit tired, I suppose. Friday is generally the day that I get a bit tired. But I've been looking forward to potting these up, and I've been meaning to paint these uh, terracotta pots and I just received it yesterday too. It's uh it's a it's I've never purchased this size before so um I think uh let's see how it goes. I painted it this time because as I mentioned in some of the other videos I'm having issues with um mold in the terracotta pot not all my terracotta pots the ones that has some sort of finish um it's not a problem but um these the these orangey very orange terracotta pots um i don't have this size but i have one that's a little, um flatter a lot of my um two inch succulents have been potted in there and they've been getting moldy around the, the edges so i wanted to and i've painted some of those 
Uh, and the ones that are fully painted is fine, but the ones that are not, the inner lip in this area will get all um, what appears to be mold. It, it's really hard to say because in, uh, just upon looking at it several times, I feel like some of them might be, um, oh, it kind of looks like moss. So it's hard to say. Okay, so that's one. Next one. Okay. Alrighty. It is Echeveria Pink Spots. And I've been looking forward to purchasing this for a while as well. And let's get to it. I think this, the spotted deer and the pink spots, both are similar in the in the in the way that the tips are supposed to get uh, color um, into like pink, but not lining or tips, but they they're supposed to get dotty. I don't know if you guys could see um, over here. It's supposed to get dotty, spotted. I guess I suppose that's why the other one is called spotted deer, but. Yeah, so these look super cute, and just making sure so has a little fuzzy from the packaging. This seller likes to put the fuzzy cotton. I'm not a big fan of that. It gets stuck all over the the succulent, and sometimes it's just like hard to get it off. Mm. It looks like a crusted something, like a remnants of a leaf that got pulled off the fell. But I'm just going to leave it there. Alrighty. So I purchased more lava rocks because I ran out. But I, I do like these lava rocks. So I'm going to stick to them. That might be, that this one might be my go-to now for drainage and, uh, Top dressing. And this new soil mix that I purchased, um, it has these weird, I think they're rocks mixed in. Um, it was the batch of soil that I purchased online when I um, was not, when I got sick and then I was too lazy to go out and uh, Purchase more soil. So, I think one of my previous videos I talked about the soil mix, and I'll talk about the soil mix again because um, not everyone obviously watches every single one of my videos. Um, but yeah, so I. Uh, the soil mix is um, is rocky, as you can see, and I think in that video I mentioned that I that the reason why people or some people recommend this rocky mixture is probably because it's to like mimic um, their natural environment, and I still do think that. Uh, what I I think what I failed to mention also in that video is that not only does it mimic you know the their natural environment but obviously it's for the biggest thing is for drainage at least that's what i think um this the, the rocky mixture is great for drainage so when i water the succulent the water passes right through so i don't have to wor worry about um water sitting in here when i uh, after I water the succulent, and of course, um, in the spring, and I could do that in the fall too, um, but I haven't been just yet because it's still very, um, it still can get pretty hot during the day when the sun's shining, um, so I haven't been sort of showering these yet, but I, I mean, I, I will and I could. Um, just not quite yet. So 
um, when you when you deeply water them um, with the shower head, you'll see that the water will just drain right out, and that's a great indication that you know your your soil mix um, drains well, and that. That's why when you uh, use this kind of soil mix, then you can just pour down the pour pour as much water, shower them with much water se several times, because it drains right out, and you have to do it several times over a course of period um, to ensure that they the roots get enough water. So I have your uh, pink spots too. Um, I think you know what I think I'll end it here. Here we go. It's the, the one on the left is the Echeveria spotted deer and the one on the right is the Echeveria pink spots. I want to end it here just because the video is just getting a little bit you know, a tad long. Um, so I'll do the other ones. I'll do a separate video and hopefully I can just move a little faster. <laughs> I do plan on finishing the potting today and I have a bunch of other ones that's sitting to the right of me that needs repotting as well. So um i think that's it for today so thanks for watching i'll see you guys next time bye now